we're here with me. It's all about doing the basics right, isn't it, really, when you're starting out goalkeeping? You. Oh, thank you, mate. Give me some of that. Yeah. Who mostly washes our gloves? I know, but I'm really good too. <laughs> this week, we're working on humility. Um, we're going to move into a segment that I'm going to call Ollie Reacts. What is happening, guys? And welcome to episode one of the Father and Son Goalkeeping Podcast. We're here with... Me. And who are you? Ollie. Ollie. Super Ollie Russell. Yeah? Yeah. Sweet. So today we are going to basically just start the podcast with interviewing Ollie. It's our first podcast, so it is going to be very rough and ready. Um, there's going to be all sorts of cuts and edits and maybe some slow bits, but bear with us. We will get through this. Uh, but first of all, Ollie. I put on our social medias for anybody if they had any questions to ask you, okay? Now, we had quite a few, so we're going to go through those, okay? And I'm going to ask you some questions. So, do excuse me whilst I am on my phone. I'm just bringing up some of the questions. Right, so the first one, and this is from Jordan55 on... Instagram. How old are you? Seven. When are you eight? Ages. Ages away. <laughs> How long's ages? Ages. Ages next year. Yes. Yeah, you've only just turned seven, really, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. So he's seven years old. Uh, right. How do you learn to dive on your side? My son keeps diving on his knees, and that is from Zach Keeling eighty eight. Well, Zach underscore Keeling 88. So, can you remember how I taught you to dive on your side? No. No. Okay, so the way that we uh, worked it was starting on his knees. Um, we I just threw the ball at him and he caught it in front of him. And I started throwing it to his side. Um, so, yeah, instead of diving, he was learning to fall and collapse onto his side, wasn't he? Uh-huh. And then we did that both sides. Uh-huh. People don't need to see you picking your teeth, dude. I'm not. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so starting on his knees, fell to the side um, and collected the ball there and then got up into his uh, into his knees and then same again. Yeah. Once he'd done that, kind of diving onto his side um, or falling onto his, your side as it was there, wasn't it? Yeah. So when he'd started uh, properly falling onto his side... Then we started standing him up and just kind of doing collapse dives onto the side. And then um, just, yeah. And then worked up from there, didn't we? Yeah. So falling onto your side is a very good skill to get Easy. from um, from the offset, really. See, it's all about doing the basics right, isn't it, really, when you're yeah. starting out goalkeeping. So learning Ollie the basics, teaching Ollie the basics, and make sure that he's getting them right, which leaves him in good stead for moving on. Fundamentals, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what made you want to be a goalkeeper? You. Oh, thank you, mate. Give me some of that. Bosh. Did I inspire you or did I push you? You inspired me. Oh, thanks, mate. That means a lot. Um, so I'm a goalkeeper. I'm 39, just about to turn 40. And I've been playing in goal for as long as I can remember. Um, <laughs> maybe since I was nine. So what's that, 30 years in goal? Yeah. Stop messing with the mic, mate. I can hear it. Good boy. Um, so, probably 30 years in goal, um, on and off. I've had a few injuries recently. Um, but, yeah, and then Ollie started playing football. And Is it because you want to be like Dad? Yeah. My man. So, I'm yeah, be, I want to be a professional when I'm older. Do you actually? Yeah. Oh, hold on, I think someone asked that question, actually. Uh, what's your favourite ice cream flavour? I want this football podcast. <laughs> People just want to get to know you. <laughs> so what's your favourite ice cream flavour? Ah, uh, Strawberry. Strawberry? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it would be chocolate. And I was quite... going to say chocolate. Was <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Strawberry. Yeah, I like that's strawberry. Fair enough. Uh, that's from Anna Sloan. 
uh, Anna underscore Sloan one two three. So thanks, Anna. Apparently, it's strawberry. Like your shirt. Strawberry. Oh man. Um. So Boz Hinskovsky underscore David. Bonskin. Well, how, how would you say that? Bonskin. Boz Hinskovsky. I'm really sorry, mate, um, for the really bad pronunciation of your name. Um, but he says, do you wash your gloves? What? Yes. Do yes. you? Yes. Who washes your gloves? Me. You, big fibber. <laughs> yeah. Who mostly washes our gloves? Me. I wash his gloves. Me! Every now and then, Ollie will wash his gloves. Maybe at the end of his bath or something like that, I'll chuck the bug gloves in. Comment below, so who he... do you think? Oh, I like it, mate, I like it. Comment below, who do you think actually washes Ollie's gloves? Me! <laughs> hey, Thank you, David, for your question. Uh, oh, I know who this is. Max underscore H underscore 9905. Uncle Max. He says, why are you not playing rugby yet? Because I'm not playing rugby, it's rubbish. <laughs> What's the best? Football. My man. Ow. You okay? Hit your ring. Oh, you don't know. So, uh, Mr. Skellin, 2013. So, Mr. Skellin? Skellin. Skellin, 2013. Um, how do you stop the ball from rolling under the shoulder? What? I don't. I don't really know what he means by that question. Um, hmm? How do you stop the ball from rolling under the, your shoulder? Like, I think under the like shoulder, as in, like, if it goes underneath you when you dive down. Um, I would say that's all about just getting down quick. Yeah, like leading with your hand, and um, so that you can when you dive, you leave, leading with your hand to get your hand down there, um, and. What Ollie does sometimes is he falls on the floor when actually, uh, instead of diving on the floor. So falling on the floor is always going to be slower. Um, yeah. That happens sometimes, doesn't it? You just yeah. fall on the floor. And what's Daddy say to you? Get down quicker. <laughs> Get down quicker. But instead of just, you can throw yourself on the floor. Um, so. And that's how you stop it from going under the shoulder, if that's what you mean by going under your shoulder when you're diving. Uh, oh, that's my mate. Um, so Steve Elliott, 155, um, is one of my boys that I used to play football with down in Kent when I lived there. Uh, he said, not a question, just encouragement. Keep it up, mate. It's a great opportunity for you. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are everyone from Instagram. Um, what I'm going to do, Ollie, I'm going to bring up the TikTok. Oh, hold on. Let me turn that down. Look, because it's brought up whatever the latest TikTok video that it wants me to see is. Uh, so where do we go? Profile. Oh, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> Stop getting into TikTok mode, you. Get out of it. <laughs> Dad's, in the ice bath. Dad's in the ice bath. Yeah. Hold on, Ollie. I can't see. There we go. So our first podcast questions. Here we go. So user two nine three five two zero two seven two nine three six two. That's a long one. I oh, know who this is. This was the winner of the competition for the Cali Air Gloves. Ooh, Sit back a little bit, mate, fancy. so the mic can get you. So, um, he said, in fact, hold on, because I can do a little bit more professional than that. Um, if I can remember. There we go, here we go, here we go. Bring that up. Here we go. His name's Arlo. Arlo. So Arlo says, what's your biggest struggle what? being a goalkeeper? Top corner or bins? Top corner. Top bins? Top bins. Yeah. So Ollie is... Um, seven. You're seven, but you're like daddy, and your daddy was a very late grower. Um, I just about managed to make it to six foot, but most of that came in like my later teens. So, um, so Ollie, you're still quite little, aren't you? Yeah. Don't forget the mics here, mate. I know. So reach, I know reaching those top bins is something that we're working on. Um, yeah. So that's his biggest struggle. He hates it when people kick the ball up high. 
It's in Ming. It? It's in Nguyen, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but he's working on it. He's working up getting on. Getting I'm up almost high. there. I'm almost You're there. almost there. You can almost touch crossbar, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's his biggest struggle. Um, Lil underscore oil said, who inspired you to be a goalkeeper? Daddy! I'll take it. I'll take it. As long as it's always Daddy. like that. Uh, right, kid the gay. So, um, these guys, I've been talking to his dad, actually. Um, these guys are up Manchester, I think they are. Um, so, Ronnie, who's the lad, yeah. says, what style of goalkeeping do you prefer? Uh, Ronnie likes to sweep up and get involved in the play. So, what kind of goalkeeping do you like? Never mind it. Goalkeeper thingy. So, what have we been working on recently? What style of goalkeeping? Um, defender goalkeeping. Defender goalkeeping. What's Daddy call it? Mm. Sweep. Sweeper keeper. Sweeper keeper. Good lad. So, um, Ollie likes to get involved in the game, don't you? Yeah. He doesn't like if there's a passage of play where he don't touch the ball for ten minutes. For um, eighty minutes. Yeah, for ages. You hate it, don't you? <laughs> So no, half an hour. So he wants to. We've been working on coming to the edge of your box, haven't you, and getting involved with the defence and yeah. playing it round and being that like sweeper the keeper. Like strikers and trying to, yeah. What's sweeper keeper mean to you? Everything. Does it? Ish. So, well, when the when the midfield plays a ball to the striker, what does it allow you to do as a keeper? Come out and make yourself big. Yeah, come out and make yourself big if it's in your box or come and boot it away. Stop uh-huh. doing that. Or come and boot it away mm-hmm. if um if you're outside your box. And you've been doing that really well the last few weeks, haven't you? Mm-hmm. So that's the style that he prefers, being a, a sweeper keeper. You like being brave as well, don't you? Yeah, Coming out and making yourself big. Apart from when my player karate kicked me. Yeah, Ollie got karate kicked at the weekend. <laughs> But why did he get karate kicked? There's learning from that. Because I didn't shout keepers yeah, when I came out. And then I just came out and Manuel didn't see me. Yeah, so I, the ball came over. Ollie came out to collect it but didn't shout keepers. His defender didn't know he was there and did a flying kick to try and clear it. Hi-ya! <laughs> kicked you right in the chest, didn't he? Hi-ya! Never mind. You got up though, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Watch out, mate. Careful. Oh, no. So, uh, Paul Goodwin says, um, ask him if you would rather score a goal to go 1-0 up or save a shot and not go 1-0 down. Would you rather score a goal and go 1-0 up or save a goal and not go 1-0 down? Save a goal because winning is not everything. Winning's not everything, is it? Well done, mate. Um, so, yeah, you'd rather save a goal, wouldn't you? Yeah. Fair enough. But, um, and score. You you want to score as well. Yeah, uh, both, goal, really. Or get an assist. Yeah. You want to get an assist just from a drop a- kick? Just anything, you know? just anything. You want to be involved in every passage you played, and you? Yeah. Whether it's in goal or up front. You want to score uh, a goal, you want to save the goals, you want to get the assists. Do you want to take the throw-ins? I take the corners, not the throwings. <laughs> because if I if I get the ball from the throwing and then dribble up, and I might have a chance to score. Yeah, yeah. So, mate, I like that thinking. Well done. Uh, what inspired Ollie to be a goalkeeper? Excuse if you can hear the barking, by the way. We are in Ollie's bedroom. Yeah. With the Arsenal crest and Super Aaron Ramsdale all above us, and we? Super Aaron Ramsdale. Rambo. And then just... Song and it is and it is Arsenal, Arsenal. Let's see. The microphone's behind Arsenal. you, mate. Be far the greatest <laughs> team the world has ever seen. Yeah, good lad. Um, Ella says, "What inspired Ollie to be a goalkeeper?" We've Dad, that. Dad, and would you have any advice for people? What advice would you have for other people that want to be in goal? Get down quicker. Get down quick. Do it. Yeah, be a sweeper keeper. Learn the basics. Yeah, do the basics, the basics very well and build from that. Or if you get like really good, you could be a professional player. Yeah, yeah, but that's in the long run, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's a long way to get there. 
for uh, me. What Maybe. aspect? Uh, so, Henry Madsen, 24, said, what aspect of his game does he want to improve on and what does he think he needs to? What? What do you think you need to improve on? Sweeper keeper. Sweeper keeper. So, it, here's the thing. Because Ollie's got a couple of videos that have gone viral, he, think, he thinks he's the world's greatest goalkeeper. I'm not. Now, it? Yeah, I'm not. yeah, whatever. That's not I'm what not. you tell me. I'm not. <laughs> so, um, so what, but what aspect of your game do you think you can get better at? We talked about it a minute ago. Maybe uh, call in when you come out. Sweeper keeper. So your defender doesn't karate kick you in the chest? Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you think you could do better with that? Yeah. Um, high shots? Yeah. Yeah? There's lots. He's seven years old. There's loads that he can get better. Loads. At. Loads. He's got a long journey ahead of him, but learning the basics, getting the fundamentals, doing the basics well, and we'll build from there when we... This is where I was mm, almost at the very top. You think you're almost at the very top? Yeah. Mm. And there. This is this is where you are. What? This is where you started. <laughs> and this is up the top. <laughs> no! You've got a long way no! to go, kids. No, no. <laughs> so I'm like about then. And it's like, there's the top. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still got a lot to learn, on you? Long way. But you're doing well. Mm-hmm. Keep working hard. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> What Premier, hold on. So, Rob Keating, four one six, said, "What Premier League team would you love to play for?" What? What Premier League team would you love to play for when you're older? Oh, this is hard. Is it? Yes. Who do you want to play for when you're older? I'm intrigued by this that you haven't answered this straight away. <laughs> You, you expect me to be Arsenal? No! You don't want to play for Arsenal? I might, I do, but I don't. Why? Because there's a, you don't always need to play for Arsenal, do you? There's a lot of other teams out there. There's a lot of other professional teams, isn't there? And playing for any professional level is a privilege, isn't it? Oh my god. But. If you could pick what, one, what, if you could pick any professional team, who would it be? What what does Messi play for? Who did Messi play for again? Well, now he plays for Inter Miami, but he did play for Barcelona, and then he played for Barcelona. Then he played for good. PSG, Paris Saint Germain, and now he plays for Inter Miami. So, who do you want to play for? PSG. PSG? Really? We're going to have words later. What? <laughs> Dad! Dad! Yeah. There's a lot of other teams in Arsenal, are It there? does say, what Premier League team would you want to play for? Oh. Arsenal. <laughs> Correct answer. Correct. Correct. I'm being... Sub- are you... I think we're going to have different answers to this one. So, 2-2... Uh, two, two, Slash three slash twenty three says, "Is Ollie the best goalkeeper in your league?" It's hard to say. There's some really good goalkeepers in your league, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, I know, but I'm really good too. <laughs> this week we're working on humility. What? <laughs> what? Um. Yeah, there's some very good goalkeepers in your league. Me? And, and well, yes. in your no. area specifically, no. there's some well, there's some really good goalkeepers in your area, isn't there? Some of the ones that we see on Instagram this and stuff. Is hard. And I know you shouldn't just take how good someone is from social media. Um, but your coach Shane coaches a few others as well, doesn't he? And they're, they're next um, level. His age are flipping unbelievable. Um, but you work hard at being the best that you can be, don't we? Yeah, no. I, as long I as you're the best, you can be. Yes. Yep. It doesn't matter. It it doesn't matter about anyone else. It's just you. Focus on yourself at the minute, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Be the best that you can be. 
Okay, we're back after that short break. Um, turns out Ollie didn't do anything. Uh, the computer went into sleep mode and turned the mixer off that it's plugged into. So, yeah, that's what happened. Uh, where did we get to? Um, right, football. You see TikTok, I can't... Uh, on top. Uh, asks, do you enjoy matches or training better? And he says, by the way, I love you guys. Thanks, mate. We love you too. Thanks for the support and following the channel. But do you enjoy matches or training? Both. Why? Because they're both to do with goalkeeping. <laughs> That's a cop out. Tell us, why do you prefer? What do you prefer, or why do you like both of them? I like both of them because they're both fun. Mike's over here, dude. <laughs> There we go. I like both of them because they're both fun. Good boy. And it's not all about winning. So we, myself personally, I love matches. Just because the competitive nature of it and I just love matches. But then I, I also love training as well. So yeah, I'm yes. probably the same answer as you, mate. I love both. Because I love a good beasting of a training session in goal when you're flying around everywhere Working on your footwork, then your dives, getting up, flying around. I love it. Um, right, Ollie. Someone called Ollie. Ollie? Yep, has I asked. Do you have any tips for goalkeeping? I'm Academy, but just asking uh, because of my brother. So sit back, remember your mic's over there. So what tips do you have for goalkeeping? We've covered this a little bit, actually. The basics. <laughs> Do the basics right. Command your box, be a leader. Yeah? Uh, right. User 249120960061. What? It's a funny name, isn't it? Yeah. Asks, what are the key, uh, what are the Cuford Eagles in their league? Oh, where are the Cuford Eagles in their league? Um, so... We're third. At this age group, it's classed as non-competitive, so you don't really have... You're we're not meant to have, third. like, track of leagues and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, they we're don't really have... Third. Yeah, I don't... They don't really keep track of it because it's not meant to be competitive we're, at we're this third. age. We're third. Bang came first, Arthur came second, and I came third. OK. No, it's true, <laughs> it's They're true. They're people that he goes to school with. Don't yeah. forget the mics there, mate. It's true, it's true. Um, has, uh, sorry, Jonah McNabb says, has Ollie been scouted? I'm close to being scouted. Are you? Says who? Yeah, me. Oh, really? You think you're on the edge? Almost. No, Ollie hasn't been scouted yet. Um, Almost. Well, and I'll tell you the reason why as well is, um, there's a couple of reasons. I'm small. I mean, the level of under seven goalkeepers in is this area insane. is insane. There's some amazing goalkeepers um, at this age in this area. Um, and also, um, Ollie's still very small. Um, I know one of the things that Scouts looks for is um, height. Um, also, height of the parents. I mean, I'm, a, I'm just, a, I'm six foot, so I'm kind of like on the cusp of where you need to be for a keeper. Obviously, you need to be taller than that, but you can get away with it at six foot. But his mum's five foot four. Um, so, if we're going somewhere where there could be a scout, we tell mum not to come, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Go away, mummy. I'm joking. His mum's always at his games. She loves watching him play. Um, so, yeah, I think there's a few things. But getting scouted at this age isn't everything. Um, there's lots of different routes I know, that you can I know take. what different... is everything. What? You tell me what is everything. Everything is thinking about the basics. <laughs> So it's about, I, I would say, if you really, really want to make it as a professional goalkeeper, yes. it's about having the right mindset and the right attitude and working I hard. I do have the right attitude. Do you? <laughs> Ish. Ish, okay. Um, so, Kenneth, oh man, there's another surname that I'm going to struggle to pronounce here. What is so, it? So, Kenneth Bjork. Kenneth Sorry Bjork. if I've got that wrong, Kenneth. My daughter is also a goalkeeper. 
Do you have any tips? Oh, we've covered a few tips, haven't we? Yeah. Think the main tip, basics. Do the basics and do the basics well. Basics, basics. Yeah. Totally basics. Um, Isabella said, "What got Ollie into goalkeeping?" Daddy. <laughs> so Ollie, he he grew up, and at, at a young age, um, it was like futsal and little kickers, all that sort of stuff, wasn't it? But then, um, as he got older. They've got um, older... It was and under six... Uh, no, it's under sevens, isn't it? It's the first time that you go into, like, eights. games and stuff. No, eights. under... Se- well, you're going into under eights, but you've played a season under sevens, haven't you? And at under sevens, that's the first time they go into teams and the first opportunity gets to play in goal, really. So it was the beginning... It was the end of your mini Eagles and when you got put into a team that you wanted to be a goalkeeper. So he's been a goalkeeper for a year now, haven't you? For a season. Yeah, but I might, I might want to play out. Well, that's up to you, isn't it? We'll see what happens. I do like playing out. Yeah, I know. Everyone likes playing out every now and then, don't they? Yeah. Daddy, Daddy had a moment playing out as well. Wait, what? Yeah, man. Top, Wait. top scorer in my team. You are? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Only for one year. <laughs> and I didn't score that many. How did you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Um, wow. How long has Ollie been a goalkeeper? We've just covered that one. You've been a goalkeeper for one season years. now, haven't we? Yeah, 25 years he's been a goalkeeper. My seven-year-old kid has been a goalkeeper for 25 years. <laughs> um, so, has Ollie ever gotten hurt? Totally. I got karate kicked. You got karate kicked at the weekend, didn't you? Um, when did you get hurt the most in goal? Karate we... kicking. The microphone's there, Dave. Uh... It's coming out, isn't it? When you yeah. dive down at people's feet, when you get hurt the most. Yeah. But if you... What? No. If you pull out of tackles like that, you're likely to get hurt more. So you're nice and brave when you go into them, aren't you? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so that was Isaac that asked that question. So thank you, Isaac. Um, Lovo69... Peeny? Peenie. Peenie. Pine? I don't know. Um, what is the goal with Ollie's goalkeeping? What's the goal? What's your goal? What do you want to achieve with your goalkeeping? By scoring a goal, obviously. <laughs> because, because, because you're saying, um, what's your goal? Yeah, what's, what, so what do you want to achieve? Where do you, where do you want to get with goalkeeping? Is what he's asking. We've already covered this. You said it right at the beginning of this podcast. What? I can't remember that to do. You can't, yeah. So, you said you wanted to make it to a professional goalkeeper. Yeah. Yeah? Professional. Are you talking into the microphone or are you talking up to the ceiling? Yes. Not that, <laughs> yes. Not that close. So, you want to make it as a professional goalkeeper, didn't you? Yeah. I just want Ollie to be happy playing in goal. As long as he's turning up and he's happy and he's yeah. playing in, and he's uh, doing his best that he can and his uh, attitude's right, I I'm happy. I do. I do. It's not about making it as a professional goalkeeper at seven years old. Uh, he's got a long road uh, ahead of him. <laughs> Ollie, get off. <laughs> no. um, I think we're losing Ollie in a minute, so we're going to do a little segment in a minute that we'll so. do regularly. So, um, someone who calls themselves Jack Grealish, it's not actually Jack Grealish, <laughs> on TikTok has said, who's Ollie's favourite thing about being a goalkeeper? What's your favourite thing about being a goalkeeper? Being a goalkeeper? <laughs> well, that's not an answer. Ollie, sit up, mate. Uh, I need help. What's your favourite thing about being a goalkeeper? By being a goalkeeper. Okay. Right, on that note... Um, we're going to move into a segment that I'm going to call Ollie Reacts. Okay. Ollie, Ollie doesn't know about this. So, when we do a podcast, we're, I'm going to bring up a save that I've seen on uh, the TikTok or um, Instagram or something like that. I'm going to play it to Ollie and we're going to see his reaction to how what the save was like and how good it was. Are you ready, Ollie? Are you ready, dude? Yeah. So, I've picked this one for you this week. Um, any of those watching on YouTube, then I'll put this up on the screen now. So this is 
Um, Sunday League TV put this on. Um, they haven't credited anyone, so I don't know who it is. But this is the save. Are you ready? Yeah. Watch this. So it's a penalty. Saved. Great penalty save. Gets the rebound. Gets the rebound. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is insane. Three times. Three saves, Three mate. saves. Yeah, man. Oh, my gosh. So Even saved up. Oh, my. The penalty was a good save. Then that he saved was... that. And then he got that. That look, is Look amazing. at his celebration. Go on, keeper. That. Do you know what? When that happens, as a goalkeeper, you just feel invincible. You feel like nothing is going to go past What's you. That's good, wasn't it? What's that? What's that? We'll have a look at that later. Uh, right. I think we've got a few more questions, and then I think Ollie's starting to flag now. So, What's um, Fleming? You're losing your concentration. So, you're only seven. How, how it long happens. has it been? How long has it been? Um, I don't know how long it's been, actually, mate. I can't see over there. Um, no but I think we've only got a few questions. Who's your favourite goalkeeper? 30 minutes. Who's your favourite goalkeeper? Ramsdale. Ramsdale? Yeah. Not dad? Ramsdale. Oh my goodness. Rambo. <laughs> You've done my legs, man. you got Ramsdale above your head here, haven't you? Ramsdale's the best. Yeah, he is. He's a quality keeper. And he's only 24, so he's got a long way to go. He has, mate. Well, he's 24 and he's at the top of his game, isn't he? He's got, yeah. lo oh, he's got a great career out of him. Flipping brilliant goalkeeper. Uh, Laura Weston says... Oh, she went to the Grassroots Cup on Sunday. She might have seen you there. Grassroots Cup? Yeah. Archie Pryor said, Hi, can you ask Ollie uh, what his favourite save was of all of your goalkeeping? What's been your favourite save can so far? Can you put the tick off? TikTok on. Was it the TikTok one? Yeah. Which one? Um, just put TikToks on. Okay, well done. Our TikToks. Um, Our TikToks. And then uh, you tell me... TikTok. Which one's your favourite one? Wait, let Is me... it this one? Wait. This one? Yeah. 2-2 two, two, in the last minute, Ollie does this. Yeah. So talk us through it, mate. So I. So yeah, let's go back. Talk us through this one, mate. So, what was you thinking here? I hit it down. So here it comes. I dived, hit it down. Yeah. And then on the bounce, I hit it. You got up and. Literally just booted it. So what was you thinking then? Just need to get the ball gone. Yeah, I was like, I was like this. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. come back here. <laughs> we lost you then, didn't we? Reenacting the save. So your favourite save is the last minute save and booting clearance that you made. Yeah, it was two two. two, Mate, two. Try, try not to move around on this. If you can hear this rustling, um, so this is our first podcast and apparently a beanbag. Is not a good choice of uh, of seats. So I do apologise, especially when you got Ollie with ants in his pants <laughs> fidgeting around on it. So try not to do that, mate. All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, right. Let's get back to the questions because there's not many left, mate. And then Dad, we'll wrap it up. Stop okay. doing that, please, mate. Can I ask you a question. You can ask me a question. Yeah. Who's better, Maradona or Ronaldo? What sort of silly questions that, mate? Is You'll never that? know because they played in different times. They played different football. They've achieved different things. You can't say who's a better player. And we're not mm. getting on the Ronaldo Messi debate. What? <laughs> Roman likes Messi. Does he? Who's yeah. your favourite YouTuber? Are you joking? I literally just said it. Go on. Who is it? Roman. Roman Wingrove. Wingrove. Is it? Yeah. Do you reckon you could save his shots? Mm, maybe. Well, do you reckon? Yeah. Well, the gauntlet's been thrown down. Billy, if you're watching this, Roman, if you're watching this, let's get it on. 
Get some past Ollie you, Russell. You're going. You hopefully you're going to come on to our podcast. Oh, do you want him on the podcast? Yes. You want to get Roman on the podcast? Yes. Okay. Dad, you got him in your book. We'll ask the question. Okay. Yes. We wrote down all the guests that we'd love to have on the podcast, and we wrote down Should the we... Wingroves, didn't we? Billy and Roman. Stop messing with us, mate, because we can hear it. Let's move it. You want to move it? You want to sit on the floor? Move it. It'll be better. I'm caught up. There we go. No, can't see you down there, mate. Sit up. That's it. Okay, not long left, mate. Now I know. No. I know you're getting a bit bored. I'm not. Okay, or a bit fidgety. I love this. Do you? It's Do you love best. this? Yeah. Stop fidgeting around then. <laughs> um, Ollie, if you weren't a goalie, what position would you play on the pitch? It's. It's left winger or striker. That's surprising. I thought you'd have just come out and said striker. Left winger or striker? Left winger. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. They do a lot. They do a lot. Thank you, Emmy Ray, that asked that. And who do you look up to as a professional goalkeeper? Rambo, isn't it? Yeah, Rambo. Uh, Faith says, what's your football dream? What do you dream of? Being a professional football player. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Plymouth Argyle fan said, when did you first play as a goalkeeper? When I was two. <laughs> That's when you started playing football, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and what, why did you want to be a goalkeeper? Because Dad inspired me to do it. Yeah, man. We'll take that. We've got you into goalkeeping. We've answered that. What do you struggle with the most? We've sort of answered that. Yeah. Heights. Um, do you like being a goalkeeper? Yes. Do you? Ish. Posting dot random dot things. I, says that. Why ish? Talk, uh, talk to me about it. Ish, because I do like playing out as well. You do like playing out as well? Yes. But you do like being in gold as well? Yes. But you I just love play playing when, football everywhere? I might play out when I'm older. Really? Yes. Do you reckon? Yes. Oh, okay. What's your space? Um, do you ever get nervous on the pitch? Yes. Beth asks. You do? Yes. When? Just when we're playing against a good team and they can kick it high, can't they? Is that when you get nervous? Yeah. Okay. Um, a few more, mate. Uh, no. someone asks, I can't pronounce her name, I'm not even going to try, but they said, when will he cut no, his, no. when will he cut his hair? Sit, sit up, mate. Never. 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 Ollie's hair is long because Ollie loves long hair, don't you? You love having long hair. Yeah. Won't let anybody cut it. So, yeah. No that's one that. cut it. Kelly Price says, How does Ollie keep his head up and not get down if a goal goes past him? I always get down. You always get down, then you take it personally when they score mm, a goal. Yeah. It's he just hates a, conceding I a goal. Hate it. Hate it, don't you? I absolutely hate it. But what's it. important? We've talked about this before as well. It's resetting your mind, isn't it? Yeah, resetting your Not my letting mind. it play on your mind. So if don't pull that, mate, because your headphones will come if out. It feel like it's nine one. <laughs> yeah. So I keep on telling Ollie because he does take um, conceding goals personally to not let it get into his head. Keep his chin up. That's the most important thing because yeah. what what kids would tend to do is put their put their chin down and it's... their body language would be defeated. Does this work? Of course it works. Hello? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, and the body language would be defeated. Um, so I always tell Ollie to keep his chin up, clap his hands to reset and go again. Isn't it? Uh, what made you fall in love with the beautiful game? What made you love football? <laughs> Giving it a ring. Hmm? Giving it a ring. Giving it... <laughs> that. Giving it a ring. He wants to marry football. <laughs> Um, what? What, what, what I was the would question say, again? What, what made you fall in love with a beautiful game? But I would say that there's not one specific moment mm. that he's fallen in love with a game. He's just I grown just... up loving it, haven't you? Yeah. It's just been like a natural progression and evolution. Uh-huh. And you, he loves playing football. I just um, love it. It's, it's the same story with a lot of kids, I think. Um, you see it so much with kids that just... 
They just love playing the game, don't they? I never stop playing football. Oh, no, you don't. Apart from when I'm doing this podcast. <laughs> but what are we talking about? Football? Football. So, basically... Football, football, I do, football. I'm just doing football because, so, because I'm talking about it. Ollie will... Yeah. If he's not at school, he's wearing a football kit. Hello? Ollie, yeah. it's on. If he's not at school, he's wearing a football kit. If he gets home from school, he's in the garden playing football. Um, if he's watching YouTube, he's watching the Wingroves or something football related, aren't you? No, it's always, Arsenal, Wingrove. <laughs> it's, it's always a Wingroves. It's always a Wingroves. Come um, on, Wingroves. There's get one more. Um, Ran underscore editor says, may you ask him how he gets recovery fast? Um, I just get up and get up. Deal with it. You get up and deal with it, then yeah. Yeah. I think he means recovery from like saves. So, what's important to remember is the ball's not safe until it's in your hand or gone. Um, so you keep on going, don't you? Is it bedtime? Yeah, almost, mate. No. Oh no. Well, we'll finish this podcast first, okay? And Did then we'll, should we go and chill and watch the wind groves again? Yeah. We're so obsessed grows. with the ring groves. I love is the ring groves. Literally grows. obsessed with the ring groves. I love grows. the ring groves. Okay. Um, and that's it. That's all the questions, mate. So it's been a little bit of a Q&A, yeah. this one, isn't it? So yeah. um, thank you for tuning into our podcast and listening. There's going to be more, isn't there? Yeah. We're going yeah. to get Billy Ring Rose on. You reckon? And Billy Roman. and Roman. Yeah, and Roman. Pl- like, Billy, please, just help a, help, a, help a daddy out. Like, he's not going to stop pestering me. So at least like, slide get into our DMs home. and say hello or something. Just to appease him. Just tag. In fact, if you're if you're watching this podcast on YouTube or if like it's a snippet on TikTok or something like that, just tag Billy. Tag the Wingrove Billy, until they Billy, respond. Billy, Billy, yeah? Billy, Billy, Billy. Do you know what? I saw today that he put a video up of like um a robotic boot booting the ball. It's what Adidas used to test their balls. And two people have tagged you saying you could say that. <laughs> yeah yeah true it's true it's true, true. billy but uh anyway thanks for listening to the podcast uh sorry if there's any background noise or bean bags or anything like that bean but bag. it's been a good q a have you enjoyed it yeah should we do it some more yeah who else should we get on don't say the wing groves who else wing groves. <laughs> um, i've got a few guests that I've, I've got lined up that i want to get on um, um we, we want get... to get foster uh, ben Foster. Yeah. Should we get Ben Foster on? Yeah. I mean, he's aiming high. Um, I mean, let's just go in. Let's just go in at the top. Who else do you want to get on? The Prime Minister. Oh, I know. Who? I know. Ramsdale. Ramsdale. Ra- Rambo. Rambo. You are welcome to come and sit on. Come Ollie's on, Ramsdale. Come floor. on. Come on. Come on. Come and sit on Ollie's bedroom floor and yeah. record a podcast. Come on, Ramsdale. Come on, Ramsdale. Come on. Ramsdale, come on. <laughs> But yeah, uh, any suggestions who we should get, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what was good, what we can improve on, um, other than Ollie's attention spam. Uh, <laughs> comment down below, just to remind you, comment down below, Ollie cleans his gloves. Ollie cleans his gloves. Yes, Whatever. comment down below. No, 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 comment down below, <laughs> Ollie cleans his gloves. Ollie cleans his gloves. Anyway, until the next one. Thank you for tuning in and uh, let us know what you think. Peace. Peace. I'm just done. First one done, mate. 45 minutes. 45? Yeah, man. Let's go, man.